in this video we will talk about or we will discuss uh, about lookup filter so first of all what is lookup filter as its name suggests the uh, as its name is self-explanatory if we apply if we want to apply a filter condition to a lookup field then we have to use the lookup filter so first of all what is lookup filter lookup filter is nothing but to filter or uh, to showcase the result on the basis of some criteria the criteria is nothing but the filtration process uh, to get uh, the filtered records in that particular lookup field for an example we have uh, th there is a relationship between account and contacts and on contact we have a lookup field of account and in that particular account field we will if we just go to that particular lookup field we search for we will get all the accounts which are available in the org and which uh, on which we uh, a particular user has access to just to define a filter criteria which states that if that particular account is activated or is active then only that particular account can be chosen or can be selected uh, in that particular contact to define the this particular logic like where it states that only the active account should be present in that particular field uh, we can we can have a lookup filter okay so how we can implement this so as you can see in this example we have on contact object we have account uh, account lookup field and the name of the field is active account and in that we have added a filtration criteria which states that if that particular account is active then only the particular account can be selected in that particular lookup field otherwise the only active account is allowed the uh, for an example the error will be showcased as it is it has been showcased in this particular uh, screenshot or so in the right side if, uh, in in the right side screenshot you can see we have lookup options like it is related to account child relationship name is contacts then we have the main thing that is lookup filter so in this filter condition you can define <coughs> you can define like oh, what is the type of field uh, what field you want to make a filter on so in this example we have active account we are checking the active checkbox if that active is equals to true or if that active is equals to yes so in this example we have taken like uh, the active there is active field on account and there are two picklist values yes and no so in this case if the active is yes for that particular account then only uh, that particular account can be selected okay so in this case in this case uh, as you can see this particular account which we have selected is not active or the active in this particular account is set to no that's the reason the uh, there is an error showcased so if you if you read that filter type required and optional we have two type that is required and optional so required means the user entered value must match the cr filter criteria so our criteria is if that particular account is active then only we can select it or we can have it on an account uh, on a contact other is optional the user can remove the filter or enter values that don't match criteria so if that optional check uh, optional radio button is checked it means that if the account is not active or if the account or uh, if on account record the active picklist value is set to no then also it will be uh, then also it will not showcase any error it will save without any uh, without any failure error or the error message this is the same condition which will apply to all the automations which we have in the system if we have any automation which uh, which which tries to update a account record or account lookup field on contact and if that particular account in that particular account record if the active picklist value is set to no then also it will showcase this error because in this case we have checkbox the required which states that the criteria should be uh, the criteria should suffice okay and in the end we have active that is a checkbox which states that if we want to enable this filter or if we want to disable this filter if we don't want this filter then we have to just uncheck that so that's all for the lookup filter thank you